Hey, this is Aaron with 11 -1 Leadership bringing you live up to date look at what it takes to start a leadership organization. And I am here with uh, two actually relatively new friends. Yeah. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourself? Uh, Mark Martinez. I'm Josh Wilkins. And it's funny how this I've come to meet everyone through one guy refers me to Mark, refers me to Josh, and yeah. then next thing you know, here we are. Yeah. All um, by coincidence, right? Yeah, <laughs> God's coincidence. That's right. Um, and we're actually, uh, we're here going to primarily talk about the locker room, which is a men's conference. I'll put some details in the, in the blog post and make sure we have links so you can register. Uh, but just so everyone knows what the locker room is about, Mark, why don't you give me like a 60 second overview, if you will, or, or what to expect from the locker room conference. Sure, I, I think we're going to get together with men uh, in an environment that will feel like we're in the locker room for those of us that played sports in the past. Uh, it was men uh, being transparent, being vulnerable, uh, nothing really to, uh, to hide, if you will. And what we've realized over the years is that uh, if, as we've grown older, we tend to take some of our individual sins and our issues and we've stuck them in our individual lockers. And we've kind of closed that door, right? And so then we kind of walk out life individually. And so what we want to do is bring guys back to the locker room, open up some of those doors and some of those issues that we all deal with, and start unpacking that in an environment where a man can feel um, transparent with these issues, but also some sense of that they're amongst other men and it's safe, right? Josh, I'm not sure how you would add to that. No, look, I, I always, I've told Mark, I've wrestled with it for a while about, Bible talks about confessing your sin to one another, and, and there's we really de dove into having men in your life that you can be accountable to. I wrestled with that for a long time, and, and through the group that we have, and, and that the man, just the depth that we've gotten into, it's starting to click for me. Oh, okay, so that's why you know God talks about iron sharpening iron, right? Uh, you really need that in your life. And the other thing I would say, real quick, the whole locker room piece. Mark's right. We have this stuff we stuff in our lockers. Um, the, the other part of it, why we named it the locker room, was, you know, I spent a lot of my formative years in locker rooms, and it was a very unpolitically correct, yeah. very direct atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And you're able to get to the heart of a lot of things very quickly. Uh, and as men today, it's really confusing as to what we can or can't say or what we should or shouldn't think. Uh, this environment is set up to be, you know what, we're just going to say yeah. what we think. Yeah. Race, religion, all of that stuff, it's really out the door. We're just talking about what God wants and what we're doing yep. and how do we make those two connect. My next question is, I notice on the on the flyer here, this is hosted at a church. That's right. um, can you guys speak to um, just who, who this is for? I mean, I know, I know it's a men's conference. Um, you know, speak to the, being hosted in a church, maybe who's who you're targeting or inviting to this conference? Yeah, we uh, you know we have ten cross points uh, church, um, and the men's ministry that we participate in meets there every Sunday morning, but it's by no means a cross points church event. Uh, the church is allowing us to host it there, giving us the facility and all those things that are appropriate for having a conference, but this is for all men of all denominations, whether you go to church or you don't go to church, um, we all struggle with the same issues. We all struggle with the same challenges within our locker. So it's it's across the board for all men. Uh, and also for, for young guys that are in that uh, you know, 16, 17 year old age that are struggling with things that they today are putting stuff in their lockers, right? Mm -hmm. If you imagine that environment where you're just packing these things in your locker and you're shutting the door only to realize, wow, I wish somebody had talked to me when I was 16 about some of this stuff. So it's for uh, teenagers, uh, it's for men, doesn't matter when you go to church, doesn't matter if you go to church, we want men to come in and be involved. Awesome. So we were actually talking about this earlier, um, because it's the locker room that, and I played football in high school and college, so I get that, you know, yeah. the, the just brutal honesty that happens in locker <laughs> rooms. Um, they, the guys even mentioned uh, unchurched men may feel more comfortable at that, this right. the conference than church guys because we're going to get down to real stuff, right. real life, and not be apologetic about it. Yeah, look, I religion, 
from the time of the Pharisees until now has held us back from really connecting with Christ. I mean, that's what it's all about is the relationship. So I also want to talk to you for the, the women that may see your information. Sure, yeah, yeah. Whenever Josh and I have a chance to take this message to a group yeah. and there are women in a group, yeah. it's the heads are nodding. Mainly when we talk about men being passive. Yeah, <laughs> men need this, right? And they're not nodding in a way that my husband's a loser, right. but they have the perspective of looking at how we walk out in our life. And so when we talk about things like this, and I'm sure there's some women right now looking at this clip that are thinking, yeah, it'll be good for my husband to, to come and sit that, sit in on that. So. Okay, just to recap, the locker room is at Cross Points Church on Saturday, September 26th. The cost is only $30 a person, and there are scholarships available. So check out crosspointschurch.com backslash locker room and register today. If you need a scholarship, there's a, there's a place where you can contact Mark for a scholarship. We're willing to go all in to make sure everyone gets there. Thank you for tuning in this week just to see what's going on in my life with the Level 1 Leadership Group. And again... A very privileged to be loosely associated with the Locker Room Men's Conference. Catch you next time.